Now, we will study how to generate a QR code with our given data and save it to the mobile gallery. Create a new project. Firstly, we need to create a QR code for a website address. Create a text field for entering the website address. Next, add an elevated button to generate the QR code. Also, add a text editing controller for the website text field. Create a Dart file named QR Code Generator.Dart. Import the material Dart library. Now, create a stateless widget named QR Code Generator. Return a scaffold and include app bar and body. Create a constructor for passing the website field. Open main.dart. Import the QR code generator file. Create a navigation function in the generate buttons on pressed event. This function will navigate to the QR code generator page and pass the website value from the website controller. Run the app, enter the value, and press the Generate QR Code button. The page will be redirected to the QR Code Generator page. First, we'll display the QR code here. To do this, we need to install the QR underscore Flutter package. Copy the dependency and paste it into the pubspec.yaml file. Run Flutter pub get. Open the QR code generator.dart file. Import QR underscore flutter dot. In the body widget, add a column widget. Inside the column, add a QR image view widget with the following properties. Data, set it to the website variable. Version, set it to QR versions.auto. Gapless, set it to false. Size, set it to 320. Then, run the app. Enter the website address and generate a QR code. The QR code is generated. When we scan this QR code, we retrieve the website data from it. Add a text, scan this QR code, below the QR code. Next, we need to save the QR code image to the gallery. To achieve this, add an elevated button for that purpose. There are various methods available for saving images, but we'll use the screenshot method since it hasn't been used before in this channel. To use the screenshot package, install the screenshot dependency by copying and pasting it into the pubspec.yaml file. Click pubget to fetch the package. Import that screenshot package in the QR code generator file. Declare a screenshot controller to capture the screenshot. Wrap the QR image view widget with the screenshot widget because we only need the image of that specific QR code. Pass the controller as an argument to the screenshot widget. To save the captured image in the phone gallery, create a function future void save captured image. Capture the image in a uint8 list variable. Don't forget to import Dart typed underscore data for the U and 8 list type.
Capture the screenshot using screenshot controller dot capture. Add the type annotation for U and 8 list. We check if the uint8 list variable has data. Next, we need to install permission underscore handler to request permission to save the image. Install it using pubspec.yaml. Then, import it in the QR code generator file. Create a permission status variable and assign the permission.storage.request function to it. Check if the status is granted. Next, install the image underscore gallery underscore saver dependency for saving images to the gallery. Import its package. Call the image gallery saver dot save image function and pass the uint8 list variable containing the image. This function returns either a success or error status. If it is successful, print a success message. Otherwise, print an error message. Open the info.plist file from the iOS slash runner folder. Add the key value string for permission to access the photo library. There appears to be an error. We need to add a semicolon here. Call the capture and save image function.
Then, run the app. If you encounter an error while attempting to capture the data, please stop and restart the app since we made changes to the info.plist file. Generate the QR code, capture, and save the image. It should be working now. Now, let's check it in the gallery. Yes, the QR code is here. If you delete it, it will regenerate again when you save it again. Next, let's explore how to generate a QR code with multiple data items. Add an email and address field, and also add two controllers for these text fields. Create two text fields using these controllers. Open the QR code generator page. Add two string variables and pass them into the constructor. In the main.dart file, pass the text values from the controllers. Now, open the QR code generator.dart file. Create a function that concatenates all the data and returns it as a string. Assign this value to a string variable. Set this value as the data for the QR image view. Run the app, fill in the fields, and generate the QR code. Yes, it is working. Thank you for watching.